And we begin this evening with the solemn wake for First Sergeant Peter Andrew McKenna, who gave his life in the service of this nation and all of us August 7th in Kabul, Afghanistan. The funeral mass is tomorrow. Local authorities making final preparations for the enormous anticipated outpouring of mourners and supporters come Monday morning. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado was in Warren this afternoon, and she's in the newsroom tonight. Steph. Well, it was an incredible show of support in Warren as hundreds lined up for hours to pay respects to First Sergeant McKenna. A community struck by tragedy, finding comfort in each other and collectively supporting the McKenna family. We're a very close knit community and we like to help each other in times like this. Michael Kinney is one of hundreds who waited in a long line at St. Mary of the Bay in Warren on a hot Sunday afternoon to pay their respects. It's a testament to the pride and sorrow the Bristol Warren community feels following the loss of First Sergeant Peter Andrew McKenna. The 35-year-old Special Forces soldier died in an attack in Afghanistan's capital on August 7th. He was a great guy and he, and he died for our country. He's a hero. Warren Fire Chief Alexander Gallinelli is a Vietnam veteran. He says McKenna's love for his country was evident. 17 years of service and multiple tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. He knew the outcome when he went into battle, what was going to happen, not the first time, even the fifth time. And that's the kind of patriotism that we have in our military people. He died so people can do what they want because of the freedom that we have in this country. Firefighters and other volunteers handed out water to those at the wake. They plan to do the same Monday morning at the first sergeant's funeral. Flags and yellow ribbons line the three-mile route, along which the hearse will travel, ultimately to McKenna's final resting place. And the funeral is at 11 a.m. tomorrow at St. Mary of the Bay. Flags in Rhode Island will remain at half staff until first sergeant McKenna is laid to rest. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.